Hey, welcome back to uh, Survival No Man's Land, guys. I uh, just was wrapping up the bailing uh, in between episodes. We um, got quite a few bales off this. Now, granted, they're a lot smaller than the uh, you know, 220 centimeter uh, rectangular ones, but it's still going to be a decent amount. Now we just got to figure out how we're going to wrap them. And how we're going to pick them all up. I am not going to run around with a uh, front loader trying to pick all these up. But the good news is as we have a little bit of time before we need to oh exactly a hundred percent exactly a bell you couldn't have ended any better but we do have a couple little pieces it's definitely a lot of bales let's try to move this one out of the way with the tire without ramping it Just keep rolling. Keep rolling. Oh, I got it all. Nice. We have a little tiny bit right here. I think that's pretty much all of it. Just park this over here for now in our little temporary yard. Oh, you know what we do have? Forgot about our straw over here. This shouldn't take us that long. Might as well get it. Might as well get everything wrapped while we're here. While we have it running. Because we do have to finish harvesting our fields here. You don't own this land. How can I not have access to it when it's my field? It was already there before the game started. I own you. Yeah, this, I can tell you right now, this baler is going to be temporary, too.
We might get five, six bales out of this field. Draw. I need to see if our little tractor can run this so as we're harvesting um, I can get Jake to uh, run behind us with the baler Jake's the, the younger guy that wanted to do some kind of apprenticeship that I met in town over there. So I told him, yeah, come on in. Call you when I need you. But I don't know if that little tractor can run this thing. We'll find out. Oh no, if we're running the harvester, yeah, Jake can run this tractor. We'll let him drive the silver bullet. Alright, well. That looks like it's going to be about it. Alrighty, so minus the one, two, three, four, minus the four, we, 79 bales, that's what we have over here in the grass. 79. Ooh, and the chickens are out of food. Darn it. Oh, they will eat barley, won't they? Is that what I got in there? Oh, they won't eat oats. Shoot. Yeah. Go get four bags of wheat. That'll get them through the rest of this month until we can harvest the the wheat field. Chat chicken. All right, so I got them uh, five bags of food, brought it back, dumped it in. So there were 600 liters each. Actually, I guess we'll just take this over, park it up by the, uh, by the other canola field. Oi, what did I hit? Did I actually hit the tree? Should dump it off right there. Fields are looking good. Nice and fertile. 
There's the soybeans. See how well Jake does following us. We'll try him out. We're just going to have to remember that we can't really back up. So... This harvester looks looks pretty big, but it's just fat. Can hear him behind us. It sounds like he's revving up the motor or the engine. Let's see if we can spin around here without causing any issues. There he goes. He's getting the majority of it. Good choice putting the oats in here. Yeah, I think we're just going to turn around and sell everything, all of our crops. Um, oh, there's a tree stump I missed. Except for the wheat and the sorghum. Because we will need... We'll need that for the chickens.
already. Well, Jake didn't do too bad. I mean, missed a little bit here and there. I'm not going to go back. Oops. Hit the wrong button. I'm not going to go back and uh, I'll pick up the big, big spots, but I'm not going to go around and run every single little piece that he missed. Thinking we'll just go sell all this sh straw too. jump in here and take over. Like I said, we'll uh, just, just hit the bigger stuff. See if we can get one more bail. Yeah, so I might grab a few of the smaller areas, just try to get the, one more bail out of this. I just say something and then I'm turning around and doing it. Because, hey, if uh, we can get one more straw bale and it's worth, you know, 100 bucks, 200 bucks, you know, we could potentially, uh, there we go. I'm just going to leave him here for now. Let's go empty this guy out. So we need uh, 11,000 to buy the... Uh, Uh, wrapper and then uh, I don't know how much we're gonna need for a trailer is there anything exciting in the used vehicles no oh look silage fork I think we should have pretty good luck just kind of maybe starting at the top and just going back and forth on this one. Um, and like I said, uh, we still got to come in here and tie all the fields together to make the one field. We'll definitely do a couple headlands right here by the rock. Call this field Alcatraz. Wonder if this guy can. Oh. 
that looks like he will. We'll go around here, do a couple headlands. Actually, I'm not even going to do a headland. I'm just going to go uh, up here, turn around, come back down. Make uh, two passes on this end. I know we're going to run out of our land here short. Oh, no, we still got quite a bit. Too slow for you there, Jake. Start honking at me next. The nerve of some of these guys. Wonder, eh, we might get a full harvester out of this field. Uh, we might get more, I don't know for sure, but. Let's do one more pass on this. Because every, everywhere else we have room to turn around. I didn't happen to see how much silage was our uh, canola was going for. I guess we could check that real quick. As soon as it saves. Over right here. Sa canola. So four ninety five at the farm shop. Seven tens a peak. Ay. That hurts. Selling it for that much less. But Like I said early on, you got to do what you got to do to to keep the farm growing. guys um we uh got what one and a half trailer loads out of it or trailer harvester fools my bad we got one two three four five six seven seven bales it's not too bad i'm gonna go ahead and just leave the uh harvester over here for now just run over. We're going to 
gonna have to harvest both of these fields soon. So look, I even cleared a little spot right here for it, just for the harvester. Check me out. All right, let's turn that off. We'll we'll let Jake go take a lunch break. percent more I think this little spot here should do it oh, maybe not I know we will definitely get it off of whatever's left over there we go we don't need to Rush the harvester over there for now, or the, I'm sorry, the uh, baler. So we're in July. Which pretty much the worst month. Oh yeah. Let's see if we move on without getting that wrapper. First of all, we lose an entire well not an entire month, but half a month for that stuff to ferment. And second, we really can't fertilize the grass properly with all the bales over there. Oops. And this is only going to pay us $4,000 roughly. For 8,000 liters. It's such a hard decision. Let's just pour it in here for for the time being. Um, we're probably going to do one more episode in July, anyways. But let me um, let me mull a few things over. How much is straw going for? $47. Well, that's at its peak. Right now it's 33. Hmm. And those are what? 5,000 liter bales? Yeah, it doesn't tell us how much we have. Um, so this will pay us roughly, if it's only worth 400 or 500 per liter per thousand, so we might get 5,000 for all that. Oat is four fifty five, and of course, it's at its worst, too. The 
And the eggs, we know those are November. Yeah, everything's just junk prices right now. Except for possibly silage, but we don't have any. Um, now, even it's junk. 189, 157. But if we don't sell the stuff and try to get enough money to wrap these bales then we're gonna run into the uh, like I said the problem of not being able to work the field and ah uh, yeah, we're just going to have to go sell everything. If we can just get the wrapper for now, and then next month when we can harvest the, uh, oops, the soybeans, maybe we'll get enough for a bell trailer. Or something that we could do too is just go sell grass um, to get enough to buy the wrapper and bell trailer or if we can buy the bell trailer with this stuff then we can go get grass I know we've been in this menu quite a bit grass is worth 38 and 48, it's ten dollars under. And I don't remember though, those four thousand liter bells, thirty-five? Thirty-five I think. So we'll say forty. Twenty one forty per bale. You know, because we we can cut the grass again and make more bales for silage. Because the next time we uh, do the wind rowing, we'll have uh, Jake follow us to do uh, the bailing. All right. So yeah, we made Roughly 4,100, 4,200. But like I said, we need the money right now, not later. We'll run over all the oats real quick and then uh probably gonna go ahead and end the episode after we run the oats and then um we'll come back next episode and 
try to crunch all the numbers and figure out exactly what we're going to need. I know we need 7,000 more for the for the bell wrapper. But now I'm wondering if the trailer, the bell trailer is more important to us right now than the than the wrapper. Once again, I'm not against doing a few trees just to get a couple more things. And then we should be, even though it's a lot of smaller equipment, it's like if we were doing the 240 centimeter bells, we'd probably have half of those. Oh, you know what we never did is cover that. We should have finished that off. Darn it. All right, let's take the oats next since we have more of those. I think we could fill up the trailer. Oh, just barely. We'll have $300 left. So this is probably going to give us about the same, about 4,000. And then we'll be 3,000 shy. Um, which could just be one big tree. Like I said, I want to, we'll sell this and then we'll see what our total uh, money situation is. And then when we come back next episode, we will um, figure out how to get the rest of the, the money. Because I know we are going to have soybeans within the next month, month and a half, two months. But the grass, I think, will be ready to mow again next month. So if we can't figure out how to get the bales off the field, because there's just too many for us to try to go pick up with uh, forks. That's why if something would drop in the used market once in a while that we could use, well, I guess the uh, wind rower did. Oh, it paid us the environmental score before. Ha, huh, that was kind of weird. So yeah, we're uh, two thousand or nineteen hundred dollars shy of buying the of buying the the wrapper. Um. So nineteen five for the auto load. Um is this good auto load? Um Yeah, that one just doesn't say auto load. So this one, this one.
Oh, here's the 5,000. Oh, it's only square. Dang it. Oh, this one goes auto load. And it's uh, 14, 5. Yeah, I mean, so we got some options. This might be the one that we have to go for. It's the cheapest auto load. Um, this one only does square bells. So it won't help us. Oh, and it only goes up. To, this is for the small bells. All right. So we know we need two more for that. Or... You know, let me think on it, because we can buy that now, go pick up all the grass bales, we can come sell them, try to get enough to buy the wrapper for the next mow and bale. Or we might not even have to sell all the grass. Yeah, you know what? Let's go that route. Um, yes. Do we need beacons? They're $100. Heck with it. Yeah, we'll put beacons. 100 bucks ain't going to kill us. Um, all right. We're doing it. We're going to come sell just grass bales. And with that, we will check it out real quick. Nice, nice. I wonder if I could hook it to the back of this trailer and tow it back, but with that purchase there, um, we only need 10,000. Ten thousand. Lucky there. All right, like I said, with that, we're uh, going to call this episode. And I will, I appreciate you guys watching. And I will see you in the next one.